Hi, I'm Bernard Butler. This is my studio and um, this is my guitar. This is my Strat. This is a 62 Strat and uh, with my own custom finish. Um, it's custom because I did it with my bare hands with a razor blade um, followed by paint stripper followed by a good, good bit of black and decker stripper. Yeah, it was a terrible late placid blue and I hated it and then it was red and then it was black and then it was tie-dye and I've left it like this which is really nice because you can actually feel the wood. But I've left the bits on the side which I think is alright but it's very nice. I never played a Strat until um, two years ago. I've never had one, never played one, anything. And uh, I kind of went mad, broke my leg and I went slightly mad and bought a Strat and uh, decided that was all I was gonna do and throw away everything else I was using and, and that's why I ended up with this and I really like it. I'm playing it with my group Trans at the moment and uh, just using my Strat, no pedals or very few things through my Lazy J amp and um, that's that's the thing at the moment, yeah. I'll get bored of it after a while and change, but it's good for now. Okay, and this is my 355. Um, this is a 1961 ES355 TDV, I think. I got this in 1994, and I've used it on um, probably 80% of the things I've ever done, really, since then. And um, it's 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 expensive guitar, and it's like a posh guitar. I mean, at the time it was um, the three five five was the posh deluxe version of a three three five, and so you've got this kind of gold hardware and stuff, and sort of flashy sort of bits around the edge. Essentially, I use it on everything anyway. It's like an everyday guitar for me, so it's not really like a museum piece or anything, and and definitely shouldn't be treated like one. Um, it's stereo as well. Um, which is also a bit pointless because it doesn't sound very good in stereo. I think in stereo meant that you could put uh, a come out with stereo cable and, and you could split the two pickups would go into different amps and um, but it just never sounded very good like that. So I have to have a sort of strange cable made up for it which is stereo at one end and mono at the other um, to use it with. Um, it's really, uh, what I love about it is um, it's got a Bixby on it, a Bixby tremolo arm Often people complain about Bixby's and uh, complain about tremolo arms that they're not very uh, reliable and um, this one is amazing, it, it, I can do pretty much anything with it and it stays in tune and um, it's become, it's very much part of the style that whenever I play this guitar I use the tremolo an awful lot, quite a sort of radical extent and it gives this kind of very dramatic emotional uh, feel to um, it's like a quite a graphic. I always think it's quite a graphic uh, representation of the chords and the notes. But essentially, it's a really simple thing. You can play a, an A major like that, and then you just suddenly play it like this. And it's really easy to do. It's not that much harder. It just suddenly sounds amazing. I used it on the Pink Suede songs and the McCallum and Butler song. Yes, was. Uh, Uh, I guess you, in that bit, you kind of have this bit that goes. The fact that I'm using this guitar, you can do all that stuff because it's just, it's just all it is is playing an A, it's very simple. But you, these little techniques are, um, I don't know, you get, get used to them over the years and you realise that people start liking them. And generally in guitar, if somebody says, I like that, just do it over and over until they're sick of it. And so they say they like something else because you know you're winning.